starting off with this Essence eyeshadow palette, I'm just going to start picking up the corner vanilla eyeshadow. And this is really super pigmented eyeshadow, so I really like using it as a highlight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start highlighting the areas of my nose that I want to stand out. In my case, I just want to have a nose bridge, so I'm going to start highlighting these areas so it makes it seem that way. As you can see, I place a dot on the tip of the nose, and this is going to make my nose look pointy. And then I'm just going to apply highlight on the bridge of the nose, which is my new bridge of the nose. And I do like doing my highlight first because it serves me as a guide on how thick or thin I want the rest of the contour to be. With this Real Techniques blending brush, it's just the eyeshadow brush that you get at Walmart or Target. And this Kat Von D shading light highlighting and contouring palette, I'm just going to pick up the middle bronzer and I'm just going to start creating some shadows. I am going to do some pretty harsh lines at the moment, but this is just all a guide. We're going to do a lot of blending afterwards. And as you can see, I'm dragging all that shadow from the sides of my nose all the way to the crease of my eye. And this is just a personal preference. You you do your nose contour how it best suits you but if you do want the bridge to be thicker just do the shadows a little bit more apart and if you do want your nose to be a lot more thinner then you just do the shadows a little bit closer together then I'm moving in with the darker bronzers and I'm going to go over the first outline that we did and we're just making this shadows darker therefore giving it a little bit more depth Once I do that, I'm taking my Smashbox blending brush. This brush came into the highlighting and contour kit and I really love it because it has an angle to it and it's very small, but at the same time, it blends really nice. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna sit here for the longest time and blend those lines out just because like I said, I don't want them to be lines. I actually want them to eventually turn into shadows. And as you can see, the highlight is not as pigmented now, but that's perfectly fine because this way it makes it look a lot more natural and it gives it that subtle look in quotation marks because I know there's nothing natural about this but I'm just saying it's all personal preference you do what works best for you I'm just simply sharing what works best for me something so simple like a nose contour can really make a difference on how your face looks and how your makeup looks but I personally like to do it this way I just love how it finishes my makeup off and I can't live without my nose contouring it is so simple really basic but I still really like the difference that it makes anyways you guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and uh, super short quick to the point video I hope you liked it and don't forget to comment like share subscribe and I'll see you on my next tutorial very soon Bye-bye.